welcome back to 5 Minute Math, featured right here in Mr. Herb's class. So uh, today's lesson is a, a real quick one about percent error. So we use percent error to find out or figure out really how far an estimate is off from the exact value. So the uh, error comes in as a percentage and that percentage is of the exact value. So when you make a guess, when you make an estimate of something, it's really, really nice to know how far you are from the exact value based on that exact value. Now there's a formula for this. This formula can easily be Googled or looked up or researched. So I'm gonna just go ahead and throw the formula up here. So there it is. So let me explain the parts of this. Whatever the exact value that you're trying to estimate, that goes right here. I'm gonna subtract my estimate from my exact value to get a difference, to find out how far I am off of the exact value with my estimate. And now to get a percentage, I'm gonna divide that difference by the exact value because this percent error is with respect to the exact value. You know, being 10% off of 100 is very, very different than being 10% off of 50. So that's why this exact value is really, really important here. All right, so quick situation. Let's say I'm guessing ages at a circus, right? And let's say a, a young lady walks up and, and I guess, that she's 32 years old. Now, would that guess be an estimate or that guess be an exact value? Of course, that guess would be an estimate. So I would put that 32 year guess right there. Right there where it used to say estimated value, that was my guess. That's how, that's what I estimated her age to be, 32. Nice, all right. Come to find out, she was actually 42. She looked really, really good for her age. God bless her, man. So. Her exact age being 42, wouldn't that go into both of those places? Let's do it. Bang. Exactly like that. It's kind of plug and chug, right? So straight bars, straight bars mean absolute value. Remember what absolute value means? Of course you do. Absolute value just means whatever the result is in here, whether it be positive or negative, its final result will be positive. Because when it comes down to it, doesn't matter whether I overestimate or underestimate, I'm still that same percentage off. And I'll show you another example too, because let's say I guessed, let's say her actual age was 22. We'll do that in a second. Now, this is what I guessed. This is how old she actually is. All right, so let's do a little math real quick. 42 minus 32, 10, oh yeah. And the absolute value of 10, 10, oh yeah. 10 divided by 42, that's a decimal. So we'll go ahead and change that into a decimal now. Right? Three significant digits, 0.238. Now to get a percent error, it times about 100. Bang, I was off by 23.8%. Huge error. 20% error is pretty big. Now, let's talk about if, now I, underestimated her age. Let's talk about what if I overestimated her age by the same amount. Let's see what that would look like. Bang. Okay, so for the first example, remember, I guessed 32, but she was actually 42. Let's say I made a serious Google and I estimated her age at 52. <laughs> Don't ever do that. Okay, so, ooh, I forgot something. Okay, good. Don't forget. Percent error. All right, so I was 10 years off before. I'm 10 years off now. I was 10 years under before, I'm 10 years over now. Do you think that's gonna matter when it comes to my percent error? Let's find out. 42 minus 52 is negative 10. However, straight bars, straight bars absolute value changes that result from negative 10 to a positive 10. Now, we're a little bit far ahead to be keeping positives in front of some numbers, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Now, isn't this the same thing that we had before? Yes, it is the same thing we had before. It's gonna come out to the same 23.8%. Now, it doesn't matter if you overestimate or underestimate because your percent error would still be the same. You're st I'm still off 23.8%. Whether I'm over 23.8% or under 23.8%, I'm still off by a margin 23.8%. Horrible. I never did keep that job very long. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time.